Let's go on a little adventure. Smokey Dukums and welcome to our adventure. Today and tonight we're gonna be solo camping. I got some stuff to unbox and review while I'm out here and we're about four miles into the woods. We got about seven miles to explore so I'm gonna leave my fishing pole right there. I'm gonna leave a couple my food bag and a couple of other things right there but I'm gonna keep everything that I'm mainly gonna be hiking with on the AT the Appalachian Trail. I'm gonna keep everything in my bag while I hike through the bush and the woods and everything like that. We're just gonna go explore, you know what I'm saying? Just sit back, relax, grab whatever you're smoking on. And let's vibe out together. We got a lake view this time. We got a nice view. We got the most beautiful view since <coughs> starting out these camping adventures and stuff. Excited to get a fire and a, a joint lit. <coughs> This afternoon i had a big old glob dab this morning got fried as a country fried biscuit you know what i'm saying but yeah let's go and get down here find wherever a trail would be i'm not sure where a trail would be but yeah as you've seen and as you will see i have a contractor bag in my bag now with all my stuff packed in it. My tent and everything's packed into a uh, trash bag as well. And my sleeping bag that's on the back is also packed in a trash bag. I will be getting stuff sacks, waterproof stuff sacks, Sea to Summit stuff. I'll be ordering here soon. So I will be changing all of them trash bags. Or no, I mean, I'll keep them in the trash bag, but I'll also put them into the Sea to Summit. Whether that adds the extra weight or not, I'm not worried. I'd rather keep everything dry. That's one thing about the AT, the Appalachian Trail, is that, boy, does it rain. I've seen a lot about that. It's a pretty cool little campsite as well. We have right here. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Look like some good fishing to be done here. Might walk down here with the fishing pole. Who knows? I have all day and all night to explore. I didn't say about 10 o'clock right now uh, in the morning and yeah look an old shovel if you need to take a poop look at that they got the bucket and everything nice nice <coughs> just fucking walk right into a bucket spider web <coughs> shit see that's why i'm ready get some trekking poles as well so i'll be able to knock around all that little stuff like that i wonder what the best way is so we're gonna make it over there i want to make it up there and go check that stuff out so we're about to trek through all this stuff and as you've seen as well uh i'm wearing new clothes i'm trying out new hiking gear uh the shirt secret sesh that's just my homie he, he makes he made a dope cannabis brand. And now he's living life as a, as a wonderful father. And a streamer, so awesome to him. So yeah, but we're gonna follow this trail and wear these new clothes, see how they hold up. <laughs> More of a hiking clothes, you know? I'm gonna keep walking around in jeans, heavy material. I mean, it helps when I'm running into stuff, but that's okay, I'd rather be more lightweight. Especially when hiking 2,190 plus miles. I was making it over to the other side. Now, found a little creek. Or not a creek, but a little spring. Which is really awesome. I like seeing stuff like this. Uh, it's coming out from the hole. Under the ground. Going through the earth. A natural spring. Very cool, very cool. 
if I can get my Sawyer squeeze down in there. Get some fresh water. You know what I'm saying? Yep, I only brought one water bottle to test the Sawyer squeeze to see how it is. Man, I have got to get some waders or gators or whatever the heck they're called because I am about tired of getting stuff in my shoe. Now, since I made it over here, see, like I said, I'm over on the other side now. I don't know if y'all could see right here. I believe up there. Oh, no, over here. And like right here and stuff, there's these giant rock piles. Uh, just like, I guess, smaller boulder rocks. And does anybody know why that happens? Is that just over time? A bunch of boulders just roll into one spot. Did somebody you think settle and put that like that? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you know. That was pretty cool to see them. They, they almost look like old rock graves, like bears uh, do for their loved ones or something. It's gonna be 70 degrees today. Man, I'm so excited and happy that we're out here out in the wilderness. I think I'm following the trail. It seems like a trail that other people have walked. Animals, maybe. Who knows? But I'm going to keep following it until we make it to the end of this freaking island. Peninsula. Whatever you want to call it. Look at that. A beaver beaver signs right there. Clean cut all the way around. Needed that tree, but it didn't take it with it. I guess because it didn't fall all the way over. Here's one of them rock piles again. Dude, this is so cool. There's a whole nother fucking campsite over here. So, should I? Water over here on this side too, now that I'm noticing that the trail leads on back through this way. As you can see. <laughs> We're coming up on a water's edge on both sides right here. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to even make it over to the other side. Which is a bummer. Water over there. Water over there. But I believe this is an actual walking path. To me, the trash. Look, I just cut myself off because the freaking trash. Like Gatorade bottles. Cookout. That's really intimidating up through there looking at it. There were some big trees. Big trees and wobbly pines. Right there. Let's go on a trek through here and see what we find. This is dope. Look at this. It's a little earth bridge across the lake. How dope is that? See, look, a people has definitely put this stuff here as well to help. This, especially. Dude, this is awesome. Word. Look at this. Yeah. Gotta be where, careful where I'm standing as well and stepping. Don't want to step on. Damn! Look at that tree, fell. That is massive. I'm six foot two and look, that thing way up there. That is huge. I made it to this other side. And holy crap, it's so, it's 
so beautiful. I feel, I feel something different over here on this side versus that side. Hey, look, this is a good magnifying glass right here. We had a sun out. I'm, I would try to start a fire with that. But can't at the moment. We're going to just walk this trail. This is beautiful. Like, look at this. Making me emotional, man. I don't want to walk the AT. Appalachian Trail. I love the solitude and the forest, the sounds. All of that stuff is music to me. I'm so happy. I know on that 2,190 plus miles that I've watched a lot of. It's beautiful. Got a lot of beautiful places. Everybody talks, talks about the green tunnel and all that. Being surrounded by that greenery and that tunnel. And I'm gonna, it's going to feel wonderful. I'm going to be so happy. <sighs> anyway, he's walking along here. And now we have found some poop let's go i believe that's probably gonna be beaver turds little beaver raisins if y'all can see way over there is where we're staying at the top of them trees and we're just keeping it trucking through this brush how out of this Oh man, look, firewood's been cut up here. I see it. Wow. Now this right here is more my style. I think I'm gonna pack up all my stuff and bring everything over here. Whole vibe out over here, you know what I'm saying? Over there is beautiful view. Like this. So happy being right here. I gotta come over here. More beavers. Chewing the hell out of that shit, ain't they? Also, we got a little firewood there. We'll be able to have a pretty good fire going. Set up tent, set up camp. Gotta go get back, go back and get my stuff. But besides that, I mean, oh, widowmakers. I don't walk under them. I've learned more and more not to walk under stuff like that. But I keep walking. I think we made it, finally. Oh yeah. That's where I said I wanted to get, to the end of the little peninsula island. Oh, yes, we made it. You see, right there's the end. We made it. We made it to both to the end now i'm gonna walk back to a campsite place my pack down and then we're gonna go get the fishing rod and other stuff that we left behind i just really like this area i'm gonna 
not this particular area, but we're going to go to back to a different campsite that I walked through. Definitely. Beautiful nonetheless. So I'll see y'all back at camp. All right. Made it back to the camp. It's been a lot of walking. That right there was the last of my water that I brought with me. So, uh, now all I have to use is my Sawyer water bottle. Then we're gonna dive on in to the boxes. The special, we got the fire starter there. Look, I got my sleeping pad and my tent in here. We'll go over what these things are as well. My new rain suit. I'm happy as fuck that I got that. I've seen that at the store the other day, so I didn't have to order offline. As you can see, got me a pack liner in here now. Got to pull out the tent stakes, get the tent all set up and ready. All right, we got it all put up now. I'm gonna get my sleeping pad all pumped up, my sleeping bag out, get everything packed up in there and stuff, have a little snack, start going through. That's a little stuff that some, uh, some people have sent me. Let's break on in to this pack. As y'all can see, I got smart water bottles on here now. Uh, these are gonna be wonderful for my Sawyer water bottle and for the Sawyer squeeze. It fits right, the filter fits right on to uh, smart water bottles and it's a lot easier to be able to carry around and stuff. And I could just fill that right up and drink straight out of the thing. Okay, y'all seen that I had my tent and everything now in uh, trash bags. Like I was saying earlier, I'm gonna get the Sea to Summit uh, dry bags and stuff. So I have that. But now I have this right here where I keep a contractor bag inside of my bag because ultimately this will be waterproof. I got some Frog Tog Ultra Light 2 rain gear. And it's the coat and the pants. This thing is $20, probably the best rain gear that you can get on the market. Uh, I mean, I'm sure that there's $500, it, it, it don't matter. This stuff, Definitely give it a try. Um, that's why I brought it. It's supposed to be raining or something today or tomorrow. So I'm definitely gonna give it a shot, give it a chance. And it also keeps you very warm. The material keeps all that heat in because it, you can't, it can't escape. It's not really breathable. Oh yeah, frog togs. So happy that I got these. I'm definitely have them for my uh, AT trip. Got the smoke right here, of course. Got the smoke, we can bring all the smoke. We got plenty of smoke. So Yocan has hooked me up with two Dino Digital Nectar Collector Vaporizers. And lucky for us, just so happens, I brought some wax with me. Uh, there's RGB neon lights in these things. That is what's really cool. I love some RGB neon lights, but who doesn't? Uh, RGB neon line. Yeah, I got a blue one and a red one. They sent me uh, to give them a review and a try. I'm gonna make a couple a little video and stuff and talk about it today. Uh, I'm not gonna go too much in depth on it. I'm gonna be taking this on a hikes and stuff with me, and then I will really give reviews on it uh, to let y'all know how it really functions. I'm actually gonna use it up for a little while and actually see how it really works and how it cleans up, everything like that. Uh, let me know down in the comments what color do y'all like the most, the blue or the red. I don't know if y'all can see it right there. But yeah, thank you so much, Yocan, for sending me these. Uh, really, really appreciated. We'll set them to the side because now we can dive into the box. Uh, Hella Slump, Mr. THC. Shout out, Mr. THC. Uh, send me some Hella Slump.
Uh, we're gonna dive on into the box. I don't know what he sent. He sent me a care package. I'm super, super excited. It came yesterday along with the yoke hand devices. Uh, both of them came yesterday, uh, the day before I'm going on this big trip. So it was awesome that that happened. We're gonna dive on into this box. I'm so excited. Thank you so much again for sending me this. Like this is, <laughs> this is cool as shit. I've never gotten stuff like this. And I just, I guess I'm doing my part and making good videos. Open up the box. We're gonna open it up, open it up. Regarding shipment of hemp. This hemp contained in this package is compliant with federal law and laws of the state. So, let's go on. Hey, look, we got some burn material. Awesome, I need some burn material. All right, we have some of this syrup. Oh, he sent me the watermelon syrup. Heck yeah, 1,000 MGs right there. We might have to try this out tonight while we're out here in the wilderness. I don't have really nothing to pour this into. And I do like to mix my uh, syrups. I don't like to just drink them straight. Uh, I know a lot of people do, but I'm not one of them people. You know what I'm saying? So, but we are gonna set this to the side. Thank you so much for the syrup. Uh, let's see, some, some flour right here. Uh, this is the pink runt. Nice, nice, nice. So fire, you wouldn't believe it's legal. Nice packaging, nice packaging, of course. Thank you so much. Oh, did we get another sap? We got another sap. Let's go. Two syrups. Seven miles into the hike. About to be faded. Nah, for real. This is the grape. This is the watermelon. Thank you so much, Mr. THC. God dang, this shit is heavy. No way he didn't. Thank you so much. I was hoping so much for this. This is badass. Oh my God. The live hash rosin gummies. Watermelon chamoy. Let's go. 10, 10 minute cheese per count. 10 count total is 100 milligrams. Thank you so much. Yes, I, I wanted that so bad. And now for the last is the cherry runt. THC live resin cart nice heck yeah thank you so much for all of these things like I said mr. THC thank you so much for all of these things I, uh, I'm so thankful for you what I'm also thankful for is I don't have to take this whole box back with me I could burn all this stuff take all the little things back with me I don't have to worry about this no more but so we're gonna put this down in here. Oh, oh I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna put this down in here, along with this paper. Oh, along with this paper. All of this is gonna go into the burn pit. Mr. TAC, Yo Can, thank y'all so much for the care packages. It's gonna go a long ways way out here in the middle of nowhere. I need it. That's for sure. It's gonna bring the vibes high. You know what I'm saying? The pun was intended. Sick. I got the freaking. Hash rosin gummies. I might eat all of these. Oh yeah, I got my my snacks. I forgot I had brought my snacks. Got some uh, two power crunch bars in here. We got some ramen noodles. Uh, some other food I brought is over there. I brought some chicken linguine or something like that. That's these little shell noodle things. I took over fire tonight. Or maybe on my stove. Not sure. I uh, got some Monster Trail mix right here. Had to get my Sawyer filtration system. So I'm starting to get thirsty. So I'm gonna definitely be trying this out. Cookware, cook system, uh, bear bag rope. I am getting a bear bag. I will be having a bear bag. So do never lose your cap because then your water bottle is useless. Don't screw this down too tight because then the ring in here apparently gets too worn out. Now we got the water. See, it's a learning process. I gotta unscrew it and then screw it back so I can get some more air back in there. 
But look how clean that water is versus the other side. Filtered water. Well, we'll find out tonight if I got diarrhea. We're gonna screw this on here and then just drink it through the filter again. Uh, just a safety precaution on my half, you know? I mean, just look at how beautiful this freaking place is. This is where we're set up for the night. Like, look at that. Look at this. It's freaking cool. I was so thirsty, I only brought that one water bottle, like, because I'm testing myself. I would have had to walk all the way back to get all that water bottles and stuff. How was y'all's week? Y'all have a good week this week? I sure have. Uh, spent time a lot with the family and stuff. Uh, like I said in the working out uh, for the AT prep, uh, I, I haven't been playing video games as much anymore. I get some of this hella slump rolled up though. Test it out. Might go get some bait and put on the hook cast the line a couple of, couple of times you know what i'm saying we gotta enjoy the time while we're out here we really want to give this an honest taste and review you know what i'm saying i really want to see what they're working with over there at the hella slump headquarters first smell let's see let's see first smell A little sweet, a little sweet. Oh god, dang, that stuff is beautiful looking. Oh my, definitely has the runts look 100% frosty. Oh my, oh no, little doinks, you know. We don't, we don't like we're little doinks. There's a gun range right over there. So y'all hear guns going off, that's what's going on. I'm back out here with hot dogs again because, you know, I don't know why. I always just have hot dogs. I'm gonna have to learn a technique or something to fish with these freaking hot dogs. Cause it hasn't seemed that I've caught anything yet. But sometime we gotta come out here with some freaking, some worms and actually catch them. Very runts flavor. Immediately runts. You can taste that 100%. Oh, oh, hey. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Oh. Yeah. I've been wanting this shit forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off. Pick myself up. Moving on to the better. line is taut you know what i'm saying we got that like that yeah bob out and enjoy this weather this view oh lay down on this log right here oh, oh that feels good to my back Whew. Well, we're sitting out right here hanging out. I guess we can go on and dive on into this dino now from Yokan. Nectar collector. That's pretty dope. A nectar collector. Type C cable. A cleaning brush. Ceramic tube tip. Tip cover pre installed. This should have given me faded. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, no lie. Like, this is, this is wild right here. Thank you again, Mr. THC. Check out his channel too. Uh, it's just Mr. THC on YouTube. Really good dude. Really good dude. He's on the own cell slump. Put the trash in the pocket. Did you know that's my message? Is to clean up our beautiful planet. To get out and explore. And I hope that my videos inspire y'all to do that whenever y'all are out hiking 
or exploring or even my videos getting y'all out to explore pick up the trash uh, don't throw your own trash down on the ground uh, throw it in the throw it in a trash can or somewhere nearby or something like that uh, let's take care of our beautiful planet and if you can't get out and explore hopefully my videos bring you all the amazing beautiful sights and you can live basically through me I hope that my videos and everything project our beautiful planet the best I can you know this is through my eyes but thank y'all for tuning in thank y'all for watching now let's slide this going open excited to get into it I have the orbit uh, the Yokan orbit as y'all seen Ooh, look at how this thing comes wood we're gonna get on into this now look at this thing that is cool seconds for how long it heats up what that is so dope that is dope <laughs> what <coughs> take it on all the camping trips all the hiking everywhere we go only thing, the thing that I'm not liking so far is that this water, man, it splashes up into my mouth so much. That is one thing that I do not like is the water splashing up in my mouth. I don't know if this will be a full formal review on this, but it seems like very good quality uh, glass on there, like the Orbit. So I'm not gonna have to worry about it breaking if it brushes up against stuff, but we'll know. Over time, that's for sure. We will know over time. Nothing on the fishing rod yet. Nothing on the fishing rod yet. Got some trail mix.